I'm Nixie, and in today's video, well, look, I got her. I actually managed to get her the mermaid with the very beautiful Odile face sculpt. But also, so mini brands at the end of January, like 31st January, they released a whole load of ranges. So last week we looked at the mini fashion series three. Well, this week we're also going to be looking at the mini brands sneakers. Let's start off with this beautiful doll here, and we might have to do a little bit of magic, you know, like Ariel, get this girl some legs. That way she can have a go and see if these sneakers will fit. So straight out of the box, this girl, no tags attaching her, which, wow, always love it. She just has some elastic attaching the fin to her tail, and some elastic just to strap her hair down. I mean, of course, Barbie do like to put tags in doll's heads, so her headband is attached with plastic tags. Now out of the box you can see her face, it's shiny, it's pixelated, it's really disappointing. But I knew that before I was getting her, she was just too pretty to pass up. So her hair, it's lavender with some pink streaks at the top. She does have brown eyes but with sort of a little pink bit inside. She's got pink eyeshadow and then sort of blue underneath. She's got shimmery sort of blush cheeks and quite a pink sort of... Like, I wouldn't almost mind the pixelation there, like, because of how it's sort of, it's a bit darker in the middle and then fades out. I could have lived with the pixelation on the lips. She has a moulded top with sort of seashell pattern. Just a little look at her back, if you're interested, the back of her top says Barbie. Her arms, they're straight, but they move sort of out and side to side, no further um, articulation. She has a pink moulded tail, which she can move backwards and forwards from. And then she has a shimmery fin. I wasn't getting this doll as a mermaid, I wanted her as a pretty face. And that is why I have saved this tennis made to move body, especially for her, even though it was also a match for my new Lunar New Year doll. I knew that I'd be getting her soon. At that point she actually hadn't arrived, she was just on pre-order. But we have a body, we're gonna get her some feet so she can try on some shoes. You know, I just forgot that I'd taken this off and put it aside, so it's got the holes in, because, you know, why not just... It stays on there without the holes, you don't need to put holes in the doll's head, so I really don't understand this, like, desire of Mattel's to stick holes in their doll's head. Uh, it's quite a pretty little sort of headband. But while we're waiting for her head to soften up in some hot water, and I just want to say thank you to someone on my previous video when I did head swapping, they advised leaving the head in longer in the hot water, which I did kind of wonder if that would be better, and I'm glad someone's confirmed that that's completely fine to do. Let's hope it's nice and soft by the time I finish opening this. So Mini Brands sneakers. There are 30 plus iconic minis to collect. There are ultra rare gold sneakers inside. Let's get this open and see what we get. Now, will this open any better than the fashion ones we did last week? Ooh, ooh, nice. This um, sticker from Amazon's not going to make the next bit easy. Let's see if we can get it off. Right, can we do two for two? Ooh, these are nice ones. Right, so let's see what's inside. Okay, so straight up we get two stickers. So we've got two packets and the collector's guide. Right, so let's open this one first. And inside we get a red baseball cap. So the stickers sort of let you know straight away what brand you're going to be getting. It is, it's plastic, it's that sort of soft squidgy plastic stuff, but it's quite nicely detailed. You've got like all this sort of stitch detail. So that's quite cool. I'm not sure red goes with most of my Barbies. I'm not sure who that would suit, but... We'll find someone. Right, second packet, and this feels very flat to be sneakers. Which is because it's not, it's like sandals. I mean, I kind of like that it's on a tag thing, like hanging, like how it would hang in a shop, but I was, you know, it said sneakers on the tin, so these are not sneakers. They're kind of cool, and I'm feeling. I'm going to have to grab a Ken, I think. I I think those are going to swamp my poor little um, mermaid Barbie. Okay, let's just have a quick look at the collector's guide. So this is the ultra rare gold set. So then in the comments we have some Reeboks, not bad size, quite plain, which we be alright with. We have some more Reeboks, those are very bright pink. If they were to fit Barbie, I know who would be having those. I quite like the bubble ones. We then have two Sketches pairs, which 
I like both of those, they're quite colourful. Then the air walks, which these are all nice and plain, but why are we including sandals when everything else is sneakers? That's... it feels a little wrong. And look, all of these have boxes. I don't have a box with that. I, I feel a little bit cheated. So on the back we then have hats. I quite like the bucket hats. I would like a pink bucket hat, that would be cool. More hats. I think I'd have preferred one of those two airwalks rather than the red one. More hats. And then all the stickers. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with the stickers. It's... yeah, they're just stickers. And also, like with the um, mini fashion brands last week, one shoe counts as one surprise. So if this is a 05 surprise, then we've got one shoe, two shoe, one sticker, two sticker, and then the hat. So those are the five things. And I really don't agree that each shoe counts as a sort of separate item. So actually I'm not really sure if there's any that I specifically want because I'm just feeling these are going to be too big, which is why I did only get two capsules because I was kind of aware they're not necessarily Barbie size, but I did want to check them out. And hopefully the hats will fit at least. Right, so as there's no way those shoes would have fitted on Mabu Barbie, I have brought a Ken along, and I specifically chose this one because he is already wearing sort of sandals, so I thought we could compare the shoes. So this is his sandal, and this is the one we've just got, and you can already see it is, like, longer, but let's slip it on his foot and see. Yeah, those are way too big even for a Ken. Like, look at how much extra room he's got there. I mean, you could get away if you just want to do a photo from the front. Those look quite good. They don't fall off. Like, so this bit's not too bad. It's just when you come to the back that there's a sort of big gaping room there. So yes, these would actually be quite nice. Like, even though they're not sneakers, as the capsules were promising me, these would have been all right if they were just that tiny little bit shorter. And then we could have had some more sandals for our Ken dolls. Right, what well, we have in my thought, I just try on the hat. It's a little bit snug, but it fits. I mean, he does have quite thick, bushy hair. But we will try it on the mermaid, even though that is going to clash horribly with her hair. But let's get her out now, swap her head so she has some legs. Right, she is quite squishy feeling, so... Let's see how easily we can get this off. Come on, oh, just get over it. There we go. Perfect. We have her head. And let's get this on the tennis made to move. Come on, squidge you over. She has articulation. Look at those legs. I think you do just need to brush your hair though, love. So why don't you go over there, sort that, and we will open... You know what? I've actually bought something else, not just the mini brand sneakers. I also grabbed a series two of the real little shoes. So these came before mini brand sneakers and I feel that that's maybe why they were inspired to do them. And this was £2.50. I got it from the entertainer. Whereas the sneakers I got from Amazon and they were $7.99. I thought we could do a little bit of a contrast, even though, you know, we didn't get what we were expecting. But the next capsule, we'll open this and then contrast with the next capsule. So inside you get this cute little shoebox, which we should have been getting a shoebox, but because we got the one pair of sandals, we didn't. But I'm hoping the next capsule, it'll be a better contrast. So, like I said, £2.50, we get... A shoebox and inside. Oh yeah, I forgot they've got cellar tape. Pen knife to the rescue. Chop chop chop. Open and inside. Oh, got some rainbow trainers. So the shoebox is cute. Comes with tissue paper and then we've got the collector's guide on the bottom. So for the shoes, they've got these fake laces, but then they have a real string at the top. These ones have a rainbow pattern, and then we've got this sort of bead chain to hold them together, but you can just unsnap it and take them apart. So this is the collector's guide. They're all quite a similar size. You've got some ones like the rainbow ones which are a bit taller, and then ones like these that are sort of flatter. The taller ones I think should fit Barbie better because they'll just hold on a bit better, whereas when they're a bit more open and lower, like those ones as well, they're more likely to fall off Barbie's feet. Now this series 2 does come with roller skates, which I'm kind of ashamed we didn't get those because I would love some roller skates, that would be cool. 
but I am aware these are normally a little bit big for Barbie, but I just wanted to compare them to the um, mini brand sneakers, just because it does feel like, I'm not going to say they copied them, but you know, Real Littles did these first and then mini brands did their own version by having real branded shoes. So here are the shoes on our big Barbie, as you can see they are a bit loose, but they're not falling off. They possibly look a little bit big on her, but they're not unreasonable and you can style it out. I can't get, I'm just trying to get her to stand in them, but you know, because they're so loose, sort of, she's wobbling around in them. But let's just check if I can get these onto a curvy Barbie though, just they might be a little less loose. So on a curvy, they are a better fit, they don't wobble around so much, can we just get her to stand? Okay, I still can't quite get her to balance, but... So they possibly look a bit better on a curvy, so if you're buying them, you've got them for curvies and the tall Barbies because their feet are bigger too, so they're useful. We real little, they said £2.50, it was a series 2, they were selling series 1 at £2 in the entertainer, so it's not a bad price for a pair of shoes. But let's see if we can actually get a proper pair of sneakers from my other capsule. Right. Oh, not as good as the last one. Right, will this one be better? Come on. Oh, nice. Well, that's good, we've sort of got uh, three for four. Right, come on, actual sneakers. Oh, that looks like a shoebox, that's, that's chunky, thank goodness. So the t-shirt sticker and the logo sticker are prints. Right, so what hat do we get? It is just a plain white hat, which is not too bad. Word prints. I wonder if you could, um, get rid of that, like if you used acetone or if that would ruin. I'm just thinking, you know, that's quite a plain cap otherwise. Just a thought. And let's see what sneakers we get. You know, it does feel so wrong saying sneakers, not trainers. Ooh, I like, th I like the box. It's sort of, it's very sort of plain, but, oh, that's quite nice. So this one also comes with tissue paper. Oh, those are cute. I like those. I always like things that just aren't outlandish, like a bit more subtle, and those are nice. Just a quick comparison, so the Real Little Shoes shoebox, a lot bigger than the Prince one. So that's quite nice, and I think you could sort of use that for your Barbies. Like I I always keep shoeboxes and store all sorts of stuff in them, so not necessarily shoes, but just bits. It's a good size box. So the actual shoes themselves, quite sort of muted colours, sort of beigey kind of colours. The laces are just sort of the hard plastic. They do have a tongue which moves. Well, that's quite nice detail. Got the sort of word prints on the bottom. Like so they are nicely detailed, but they are quite big looking. Just as a comparison, considering these came in a smaller box, like they are a fair bit bigger than the real littles ones. And if these ones looked big on a Barbie, I imagine these ones will too. Right, I'm not even bothering with the mermaid Barbie because like Let's go straight to the curvy, and these are too big for her, which is a shame, and I've put those on the wrong feet. Never mind. I don't think that's going to change the fact that they are way too big. Actually, though, they were a bit of a squidge, and I think maybe with different styles you possibly wouldn't want to try and squish a Ken's feet in, because it might sort of damage this top part, but I did get them in. And even though they look long on him, they're obviously quite a snug fit, and... We could use those for a can. Okay, so it's not a complete waste of time then, like getting these shoes. There's a chance, there is a chance they might actually fit on a can. Okay, I probably should just show you that when I was removing it, it has split a bit at the side. Like, I'm not going to notice, but you've got to take that risk if you want to squeeze Ken's feet into these. Okay, so here is the hat on the Mermaid Barbie. And yes, I think it's a better fit on a Barbie rather than a Ken, this hat. But overall, I don't know, $7.99 for shoes that aren't going to fit your doll and just another hat. Uh, I think I would rather stick to other things. I mean, last week we looked at the Mini Man's fashion and the shoes were fitting Barbie. Like, I would say spend your money on those capsules, although those were $9.99. But if you bought the two back, I think at the moment, I want to say it was $17.99 on Amazon for two packs, so... Possibly worth going getting two? I mean, who doesn't want lots of fashion, so I'm not saying no to two capsules over one. 
and you might also just want to try your luck with the real little shoes. I mean, not all of them are going to fit Barbies, but try the two pounds for Series One or two fifty for Series Two at the Entertainer. It's not a bad price, and compared to seven ninety nine for the mini brand sneakers, which you just get a hat as one more extra item, it is worth thinking about. And in this video I thought we'll just have a look at a recent purchase of mine. So um, a couple of videos ago when we were looking at the Lunar New Year Barbie, I bought from AliExpress a Hanfu style Chinese dress. And at the same time I was looking, obviously it was giving me suggestions for other traditional style dresses, and there were these, um, it called them kimono style bathrobes. But I thought they looked really pretty and I thought I would get. So I got this one for my doll Suki, but I did also get another one which I think will look quite nice on the Mermaid Barbie, so let's have a closer look at that one. So the other one I got was in pink, so it's got quite a pretty floral design. It's got these big long sleeves with um, satin sort of ribbon detail at the edge and at the top here for the collar. So as you can see it is sort of just a robe. So I've slipped that onto the doll. There is then the belt section, which is sort of very sort of chunky velcro. So we can put that around her. And just fasten it up at the back there. And then there's this really pretty sort of extra bit of belt. So it's got this flower and there's a sort of, uh, tassel and a bead here. So I decided um, to sort of wrap it round sort of more like three times, just because there's quite a lot of um, ribbon. And then I just tied it in a knot at the back. Honestly, I just think it's really pretty. Like, I am in love with both of these. Um, it does also come with some socks, this dress. You can just slip those on. They're a little bit baggy, but that's yeah, alright. But how pretty are these? They are gorgeous. Like, they had quite a lot of different designs, and they also did short designs as well, but I thought long looks a bit more traditional. So the Mummy Barbie, she is on a standard made-to-move body and it sort of goes right to the floor. Or Asugi here is a tall made-to-move Barbie and possibly maybe fits her a little bit better. So she's got, I mean, it doesn't go all the way to the floor, but nearly. I just think they look so pretty and elegant. So I am really pleased with this purchase, which is why I just wanted to share with you as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching as we looked at some new clothes, a new doll and some new shoes. But if you did like this video, please do hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, do subscribe and I'll see you all soon.